you know, the older I get, I'm 37, the older I get, the more I start to understand. And even though I'm understanding things a lot later, it doesn't matter. At least I'm, I'm finally getting to a level to where I understand how to succeed in life. And I'm realizing there's two ways, well technically there's three, there's two ways to succeed in life. You can work harder or you can work smarter. And the third way is you can be entitled. But in order for you to be entitled, that means somebody before you had to work harder or they had to work smarter. Now, life is a game. And I'm realizing that more and more. Life is a game. Everything you do in life is to position yourself in order to succeed, prosper, be financially, physically, mentally, and emotionally stable. And then you go and share that with somebody else, which is your companion. But why did it take me this long to get to that understanding? Why did it take me this long to say, oh, Everybody used to say life is not a game. Life is not a game. Life is not a game. You got to work hard for what you want. You got to work hard for what you want. But here's the thing. I drive a truck. A lot of people look down on the trucking industry. Why? I don't know. It's because all the, probably all the rumors from the 80s and, and 90s or whatever. But what if I told you that Driving a truck, if you start driving a truck at 21, by the age of 23, you can, be, you can gross over $100,000 a year. Just by working smart. And working hard, you gotta have a work ethic about yourself. But what if I told you that? There's drivers right now that's grossing over $100,000 a year. Now, their net, it's a different thing because that's where the smart part come in because you got to do your research, understand how to maneuver with when you're making thousands of dollars a week. Now, what if I told you that? What if I told you that if you drive for this particular company for one year and one day and then go over to this particular company, you can bring home two to three thousand dollars a week. Now, to, to, to um, net a hundred thousand dollars, you only need to bring $2,000 a week for 52 weeks. That's a what, $104,000, $2,000 a week. Now, when I was 21, 22, you told me something like that. I'm like, yeah, right. There is no way a truck driver is out here making $100,000 a year. But there's proof. There's people out there right now. There's people on YouTube right now that show, there's people on Facebook that shows their checks where they're bringing $2,000 or more home a week. That's not, that. that's 2,000. Again, if I told you that you can gross over $100,000 a year and, it's, and you can do it within a year, to, you can do it within two years or less, would you take that opportunity? What excuse would you have? And now, this goes back to work smart, not hard. If you work smart, then you will drive for a company for a year and a day. One year and one day. The company's probably paying between 38 and 43 cents. That's what most companies are paying right now. Right? And um, once you do that, you can jump over to a company that's a lease company, like a Snyder or Interstate, or you can do Prime and start training. There's guys on YouTube who run home, net, now, if you don't know the difference between gross and net, you're already behind in the game. Gross is the amount of money you made. Net is the amount of money you take home. If you don't know the difference between that, you're on, you're, you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> All right. You look at a dude named Trucker Brown. If you don't know who Trucker Brown is, go check Trucker Brown out. I'm putting this on both of my channels so the people on my other channel already know who Trucker Brown is. Dude named Trucker Brown. Got a student, started training. He got a check in one week. I think he said it was like $4,000. $4,000. He worked hard. 
right? He worked hard when he was solo. And now he's working smarter. He's understanding the way that the game goes, how he, what he needs to do to make the money that he wants to make, and he's on that path. So I'm basically making this video for you to give it to some somebody out there. Share it to somebody out there, all right? Here's a career path. Here's a career path that can take you out of the situation that you're in, that you're in, and put you in a situation that you would never imagine as far as money goes. Because life is a game, people. And if you take this information that I'm giving you, and you go ahead and move that pawn over to a Swift or a Prime or some of these other companies that take students, you get your Class A license, you get up out the hood, you put the blunt down, you know what I'm saying? You can still, hey, if you banging blood, if you banging Crips, if you a disciple, if you five nine brims, if you four seven whatever, four two, it doesn't matter. You can do that wherever. But I'm talking about setting yourself up to make money that you would never think is possible. And all you gotta do is do exactly what I'm doing right now. Riding down a slab. I call it a slab slab because it's a slab of asphalt that we ride on. If anybody ever wonder, you hear me say words like slab, that's uh, this just a ebonic term for freeway. Get out here on this freeway, sacrifice a year and a day, Go to a company where you can pick your own freight or one of the companies that's paying pretty good if you get a student, if you feel like you got the urge to train. And you can make good money. Do you, I, I'm giving it to you right here. Here's a jewel. All you have to do is sacrifice two years. You do a year and a day at, a little, at, at one of the big companies, then you leave there, you go do your lease, jump on a lease. Some leases are not good. Some leases are good, some leases are bad. You know, you're gonna hear the stories, a lot of people, people gonna tell you not to lease. But if you do the plan the way that you have it set up, you should succeed. And by the end of that second year, beginning that third year, when you get your W-2s, you should go from 32 to 35,000 uh, gross. You should be up there a hundred plus thousand dollars and it's, it only takes two years now you can go to college and get your degree which is cool and this goes for men and women doesn't matter if you're in a position right now that you're 21 and over and you're looking for something to do besides a desk job come out here it's here now the hard part is is where you get the understanding <laughs> I messed that word up. Where you get the understanding of how the trucking industry works. Once you get that, once you work hard and get that understanding for that first year in the day, then everything else out there will be butter, baby. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It'll be butter. You can go to an interstate, Snyder, uh, Landstar, Roadrunner, whichever, whichever lease. And the only reason why you go and lease and not going straight on a rock it's because you need to dip your toe in it. You can save up your money, and there's going to be people in the comments to say it. You can save up your money and go buy a truck. Right? Continue on I-40 West for 25 miles. Yes, ma'am. You can save up your money, go buy a truck, and just jump head first into it. Or you can take the lease route where you still have all the responsibilities of an owner-op. The only thing you don't have it's the stuff for your DOT number. But you're dipping your toe in it. You get with some of these companies that have a walkaway lease. So that way, you get in it, you're like, this is too much responsibility, it's too overwhelming, but you still did it. Not only that, nine times out of 10, if you're gonna go start a lease, you're gonna end up starting your own company. So not only are you gonna be, become a business owner, you're gonna work hard. And, and only, it's not really even working hard. You just need to be a sponge and absorb the knowledge of, of tax codes. That's the biggest problem to me. Absorbing the knowledge for tax codes. The lease is easy, because you're basically gonna be doing the same thing you were doing when you was a company driver, except you're gonna be making a lot more money, but you're taking on a lot more responsibility. 
But at the same time, it, 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 it pays off if you learn how to run it. Soak up all the tax knowledge that you can. Get audio books to teach you tax code. That's, it'll put you to sleep every time. You can come on YouTube. There's people talking about taxes on YouTube. Figure out the taxes that you need in order to make sure that you say you take as much money from Uncle Sam as possible. Again, life is a game. Why I say that? You have an instruction book. It's called a tax code. You use that instruction book to make sure you're able to play within the boundaries that are laid out for you. Once you understand that, it's easy. That's when you start working smarter, okay? That's when you start working smarter. That way you know, okay, I have X amount of thousands I can write off for truck maintenance. My truck, uh, de uh, this, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the value of the truck goes down, you know, and I can write that off for like three to five years, you know? Uh, the interest that you might have paid, your food, the per diem, your fuel, your IFTA. Once you get that stuff down, you'll never get it down pat because the game is not made for you to understand completely. But once you get a very good understanding of how that works, then you move on to the next part of the game. You go to the next level of the game. So, I say again, if I told you that you can take your income from 32000 to over a hundred thousand, your gross income from thirty-two thousand to a hundred thousand in two years. Would you do it? You're gonna some people are gonna say no because I got kids, I can't okay. If that's if that's what's holding you back from from doing this, I get it. No, because honestly I feel like if you don't have any kids. There is absolutely no reason that you shouldn't be out here. If you're 21, and I'm saying this because I love to see the younger generation step out of that stereotype, step out of that frame of mind, step out of that tax bracket, elevate themselves, and start to understand business. Now, I'm going to tell you this, though. Once you do that, you're going to look at everything different. For instance, you're gonna go back home on your home time. Truck parked in the driveway looking all pretty and everything. Your partner's gonna come over, he's gonna be high as hell or smoking a blunt, smelling like weed. And he's gonna be like, man, I couldn't drive trucks. I can't be away from the block like that. But then you're gonna look at him like, well, where do you work at now? He's gonna have maybe a little bitty minimum wage job you know, oh, maybe making $2 more than minimum wage. And then just think to yourself, that could have been you. If you didn't go ahead and set the, the, the blunt down and get out there, clean yourself up, get out there and make that money. And then when you come back, making, hey, watch how everything's gonna look different. People that you thought was doing it, like, you know, I used to think, Damn, that dope boy's doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because he's riding around on 24-inch rims with candy paint, with uh, uh, exotic fabrics on the inside of his whip. Then you just think to yourself, I can afford that if I want to, but I don't want it. Why? Is it because you're focused on something greater than just running around stunting. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know what it is about me. I got to have at least 22s with a 10-inch in the back. That's just me. I got the hookup. <laughs> I can get 22 inch rims for like 400 bucks. Rims and tires, maybe 600. But that's beside the point. All I'm saying is, once you start making money, once you start seeing the way the game works, once you move to the next level of the game, you're gonna start to look back and you're gonna be like, hey, this is what I did, man. I'm, you can do it too. You can do it too. Watch how many people be like, oh, okay, and don't do it. It's amazing that you're 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 an example. Like, look, and this is for the females too, the women in the hood. Like, you already leave your kid with your grandma most of the time anyway. The least you can do is go ahead and use that time that grandma's around 
to put yourself in a financial situation to where you can support grandma, you can support your kid, and then you can eventually, you know, and that's the thing about trucking is you don't have to come over the road. If you want to be a local dude, you can be a local dude. Now, are you going to make $100,000 or more being a local person? No. Can you make upwards of 60 to 70? Sure. What company that is, I don't know because I'm not local. But you'll be able to change your financial situation. You'll be able to change your surroundings. You'll be able to bless the hood with knowledge like, hey, this is all you got to do. Fill this out. Call that number. Get up out here, come drive trucks a year and a day, jump lease. Once you jump lease, the amount of money you're going to get, help them understand the tax code. Boom. Once they understand the tax code, they're going to look at things different. And that's why I'm making this video because I just I just wish I can go certain places like Southside Chicago and just be like, look, bro, you t how old are you? 21? Come with me. You know what I'm saying? Go down to New Orleans. How old are you? You 21 and over? Yeah, come with me. Come with me. I'm going to show you the way. Here's a blueprint. You don't have to stick to the blueprint, but I'm just giving you, it's like a tutorial on a video game. Again, I say life is a game. I'll give you the tutorial of the video game. This is, plan, this is what you do. You press... Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B. That's a phone number. Call that person. Boom. Week later, you're out. You are out. And you're going to be, some people just so worried about what other people think of them that that's going to hold them back. No, nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm real. I ain't never leaving the hood. But the thing about the hood is you don't own nothing. You don't own a blade of grass. You don't own the sidewalks, you don't own the house, you don't own nothing in that area that you banging. Oh, you know, so, such crib, you know, such such blood. Yeah, but do you own the house on the land that you're banging? See, when you get a little bit older, you start to think about that. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with banging. Camaraderie is camaraderie, you know. But all I'm saying is, Become an owner of what it is that you bang it. Become an owner. Buy land. Get you a house. You get your prefabricated house. You know, I want this side of the living room, this, this, this. They'll, put, they'll ship it in pieces, put it together, boom. Now you own the land and you own the house. Now bang that. You know what I'm saying? So, just if you want, I know this video is running long, but I'm passionate about just, I know there's hundreds of thousands of youngsters out there that if they just took the time to come on out here I mean what are you going to miss in two years so and so died on the block well if he was driving trucks he wouldn't even been on the block to get killed in the first place you know oh it's popping at the club okay but while y'all over there 15 dudes sharing one bottle <laughs> you know like come on man the amount of money you can make out here is astronomical. So just come out here and get it. Come out here and get it. And it's as easy as doing what you just watched me do for the last 18 minutes. 18 minutes. I probably just made, mm, I don't know. I don't feel like doing the math. All I'm saying is, it's money to be made out here. It's always gonna be freight. All you gotta do is just make the smart moves and uh, you can get out there and get it. It's just the right brother, AKA TIB, AKA Big Country. And because Christmas coming up, you can call me Black Friday. I want you to succeed. I want you to succeed. And it's as easy as getting your CDLs, getting in the truck, and just putting in a little bit of time. That's all it takes. Doesn't take four years, it does not. You can start making thousands of dollars a week in a year and four months, if that. Thousands of dollars a week. And why are you making those thousands of dollars a week? Just be smart with the tax code. Understand the tax code. Understand what, what point shaving is. Understand, on, and start to learn about investing your money. Start to learn how to make your money work for you even while you're sleeping. 
that's when you get in the IRA stack the stock markets you know if you do got kids get a couple CDs or something you know there's so much money to be made out here you just got to put the time in you just got to put the time in now a lot of people are not going to agree with me and I ask those people what options are you giving them you make a video and give them options this is the option that I'm giving you. Come on the road for a year and a day. Slide over to a lease. And then eventually get your own truck. And depending on where you're at, if you do get on with like uh, one of those uh, companies where you can pick your own loads or, or if you get a student where you can train and still make you know a few thousand dollars a week, you might look at that lease payment that you're paying as a tax write-off. You know what, let me keep this lease because it's a tax write-off. I can save X amount of thousands of dollars on my taxes because of the money that I'm paying on this lease. If you pay the truck off, then you just, you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go into all that information because that's for you to find out when you start learning how to maneuver in this game. Life is a game, baby. <laughs> Life is a game. Position yourself to prosper. Position yourself in order to be able to leave something for the next generation that you bring in this world. And if you position yourself right, then the kids won't even have nothing to worry about. They'll be they'll be spoiled little brats. All uh, because mom and daddy put in the time to come on out here on this road and make it happen. And then you can pass the knowledge down to them so where they won't just be working for somebody, but they can end up working for family owned companies they start to understand the business and if you're teaching them if you start to learn this and you teach them they will automatically look at things a different way they will look at society in a different way anyway it's way too long it's TRB you want to motivate the people motivate the youngsters you know you ain't got to be a young man to do this you come on out here right now year in the day slide over get your money learn your taxes Go buy your truck if you want, keep that lease if you want, and make that money. Invest it, buy your land, buy your house. You know, if you got a house with a tree, you got a land with a tree on it, go piss on your tree, it's yours. You can do what you want. I'm gonna take a shit in my pond, why not? I should've kept it clean. I did it good for 22 minutes. I'm not really gonna do that, people. I do apologize that I put that in there because I want this video to get out there and get shared. Anyways, TRB, take it easy.